<laughs> so his mic's not working, ladies and gentlemen. This is the UK Vape Show. Welcome to another edition of Vic's I am going to 100% take responsibility for this because every live show that I go on does that. Okay, it's working now. It's, I'm, I'm seeing the line going up and down. Hi. Bobble. <laughs> bobbles, bobbles, bobbles. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome to episode 279 of the UK Vape Show with our special wonderful guest, Mr. Retro Vape TV. Hello, Good Mr. Evening. Retro Vape TV. You are joined by the Good usual evening. crowd of Aiden, Mr. Little Bro Vapes, and, of course, Mr. Pud. We no longer have Gaz because he's now dead to us. Moving on. <laughs> who are we going to... Who are we going to pick on first? Does Vic sound like he's on an old-time radio to anyone else? Yeah, I was just about to say, Vicky, you're going through your, your C920. And today on the show, we have... What? <laughs> well, I'm on my C920 on, on Zoom. Yeah, no, I'm on about your um, the actual mic oh, from yeah. it. You, you know when like uh, the old recordings didn't have any bass in them? Yeah. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Mate. Very tinny. Mate. Yeah, he's, he's like Proper a cigarette ones. advert. It was, yeah. <laughs> Chuck's no. away, chaps. <laughs> I'm on USB mic on... Oh. Okay, how's oh. that? Oh. Is, is that any better? That's right. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it, it, it must have switched. It must have switched it to the fucking this camera when I switched it to that mic on Streamlabs, and it bumped that mic off on Zoom because I'm a fucking idiot. <sighs> <laughs> New Still Year, same old show, again. people. <laughs> Nothing's fucking changed. Nothing's changed. Anyway. <laughs> I, I tell you, I, I take one hundred percent responsibility for it. Every live stream, I <laughs> I seem to go on just goes <laughs> at the beginning. Well, that's because you turned us off last time. <laughs> I, I, I didn't. I don't know what I'm doing. I just press buttons. Just... See, I can't <laughs> even press <laughs> buttons because my stream We were doing crashed. a live stream to get us on, and he decided what he'd do was he'd press end stream. Why didn't you just turn your laptop off? End because stream. I'd not done a live stream since 1992, <laughs> and that's the way that YouTube used to work. And he's still got the marathon from 1992, aren't you, bro? Look at well, that marathon. Lying. You're not lying. I, I bought this just because I turned around to my wife and I went, do you know what? Everyone's following suit. It's hitting trend. Retro TV. The fucking 80s were wonderful. Who are we going to pick on first? We will pick on the person who's got a brand new camera angle, Mr. Pud. I have. I can't get used to it though. And it does look he's odd. He's over here. The thing is though, like, I can't point you that way. Look at this shitty cupboard, man. <laughs> so, so I have no options. He's stuck here just now and I'm just going to have to deal with it. Uh, yeah, so I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas and a quiet New Year because we couldn't fucking do anything. But I have got this for your mouth satisfaction ultimate ergonomic mouth vape thing. This is the Vape Fly Manners. And inside that, I've got a little bit of this Greedy Bear Marshmallow Madness, which is just absolutely fucking stunning. And then I've got Old Faithful. I've got the Pandora on top of the mix, which has got a really... I don't know what this little gunky bit here is. That's a bit of yeah. <laughs> And then I've got some more Greedy Bear again. <laughs> uh, but this is a bloated berry this time. And then I've got the Sigeli MT with a little bit of this. I've got loads of I'm really enjoying this as well. I've got all the favourites in. It's really simple, but it's like sugary, sweet, really, really nice custard. And then lastly, but not least, I've got the Cloud Flask with a little bit of cereal milk in it from Kilo. Ooh. And I've got no alcohol. I know I just kind of disappointed Aiden. I've got Fiona's I Love Cock Cup, though. So <laughs> that's full of coffee. And that was Mr. Pud Puffs. Mr. Aiden. The bro who's little and vapes. Oh? <laughs> you think, you're thinking of my brother. You're thinking of my brother. My brother's little. <laughs> He's a little. Uh, just before I start as well, it's uh, Lisa Simpson's birthday today. Big love to you. She's a wonderful supporter of the channel. Happy birthday, uh, Lisa. Hope Happy you're all good. Happy birthday, Lisa. Uh, Pud, I'm loving this new angle, bro. Like it. It's weird. Yeah, obviously, we've got a bit of wonky shelfie going there as well. <laughs> It's, it's making it worse. I tried to fix it just as we went live and the whole show <coughs> collapsed, so I had to stop. 
You do make me feel like I'm looking back at you from a roller coaster. I know. I try. I try to set it up here where it usually <laughs> sits, so and like you can see the like the one sound tile that's left and shit. So <laughs> <laughs> it looks fucking atrocious. And well, it looks like it's to make a little bit different, isn't it? Uh, also what am I on? I'm on the unlimit with the. Um, I'm have to squint as well with the tech mod. Um. I don't like this battery bit on here. Yeah, it's a pain in the arse, that battery door. Yeah, it's, it's, you, it's, it's just oh, yeah, a nightmare. Oh, yeah, you can Yep. What's the... Yeah, it's a nightmare, and especially when, as well, sometimes I forget which way it goes round. <laughs> so I think, why is it not working? But pain that's uh, still on a bit of vape mail, uh, candy cane, still Christmas, getting to the end of this. Full of all my juices and mint this week. Uh, we've got the Crown Janky 5 on there <laughs> with the... Um, uh, Whatever that is, still some humped on pump skins. That's the solo age of solo with some wild west air vapes, which is like airways, which is really, really nice. We've got the V rod from Aspire oh, with the Arbiter on good top. Mod, that. Like that I love mod. that mod, it fits lovely, ergonomical in your hand. With some more Wild okay. West, this is triple mint gum, really, really nice. We've then got the Tallow X. I'm sorry, I have to, I have to butt in a little bit, Aiden. I, I'm sure I taught you that word, didn't I? I, I taught you. <laughs> <laughs> I think, in fact, I, I think that. you did. I think. And, and every actually, time I watch a video, in fact, if you think back, <laughs> it is every time I watch a video, I'm like, ah, I love him. I absolutely love him. In fact, I think there's two words you taught me, which was ergonomical and also plethora. Mm. So, so good, good, word, plethora. good word. Good word. I've got a plethora of things. And I even said it properly and I've got a bit. You, you put me off now. You did this every time I get, every time I have a buffet, you put me off. He was also asking if that was a rip triple Aegis that you had. <laughs> no, it wasn't the rip triple one. It's got little bro vapes on it. We're fine. <laughs> so we've got some triple mint gum as well from Wild West. We have got the like I said, Tello X on the Soul Keeper. With a little bit of Mad Dogs, this is Pedigree Grape. Yes, I said it. I could crush one, and yeah. that, and I'm on a bit of rosé tonight to celebrate Lisa Simpson's birthday. Ooh, it's all right. I've nearly done it, so we're all right. I'll be back on Stella. And that was Mr. Eden Little Bro Vapes. On to our wonderful, fantastic guest, Mr. Retro Vapes TV. What may you be partaking to suck on tonight? <laughs> well, unfortunately, I'm not as 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 up up to the times as you down with it, kids, and all that jazz. Well, that's because you're retro. Um, so I've got the <clears throat> exactly. So I've got the original Aegis. Oh, the old one. The old one, the original one, still does exactly the same as all the other Aegises that have been released. Uh, with the Hematic uh, by Blitz Enterprises and sort of my mod, which. To be fair, I forgot how good this were. It's about three year old now. Are Blitz um, still on the go? I haven't seen anything. Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, they, they just are? released a couple of things. Hey. Yeah, but this was. Uh, Suck my mod had just done the <clears throat> thematic. I think it was called the them thematic with Wismac. The theory that on really really awkward build. The 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 theory on that's yeah. the one. Um, See, Vic just taught you a word. Was dreadful and horrible to build. <laughs> You are. Vic's just taught you a word. <laughs> I'll keep that. <laughs> I'm just going to call every RDA the theory of <laughs> uh, Today we're going to be looking at the theorem. Um, but no, the hermetic. I forgot how good this were. Little single coil flavor banger, to be fair. Uh, and in that, I've got some uh, a most curious curdle. Ooh. Ooh. Because just before Christmas, Jay sent me these out and I was like, I, I love you. And I, for the first time in my life, I, I let them be. I just sat them there for a little bit. And every day I was looking at them thinking, I need you in my life. But <laughs> they go in now. Is, it, is so, that the, light, the lime one, the curious cuddle? Is that the... The, the lemon curd. Lemon, lemon curd. curd uh... Yeah. I, and I, I, obviously, when, when Jay first started releasing his Demon Vapor, Lemon Lush was just my all-time vape. And, and still is up there, still is up there. And um, the, these juices, are, it just, it's just an alchemist, absolute alchemist. Um, he's, he's actually stopped his job as well to, to, to do it full time. Good, good, because he needs to. He needs to release more. Uh, as Fake Gabriel 
with the Helvet Passage on top. Crimson Seed in that one. Oh, look, that's the um, mod that I never got from Asvape that they say they were going to send and kept fucking forgetting to send it. Fuck you, Asvape. <laughs> I'm not bitter well, or to anything. to be fair, I got oh, this. Oh. <laughs> no, and it's a beautiful mod. A beautiful, beautiful mod. My wife keeps on trying to nick this one. That's a good mod, um, though. And I've got to say a big, big thank you to Hip Hop Juice who, who actually sent me this out. Beautiful mod. And that is ergonomical. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> I've got the uh, V sticking yee hee mod. Yee -hee. I can't even remember what it's called. The VX uh, with something the or other. the Times Vape Arden on top. See, see if you feel that. I feel like it's like got dick, dick veins on it. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> <You're> not... <laughs> You're, you're, any time you put your hands around that now, you're never gonna unfeel it. I'm never, I'm never ever gonna say it. I'm never ever gonna think anything. That one's been retired. Let me. Uh... <laughs> you bet if you had the pass. Oh, to frozen. finish off. I frozen. Yeah, I broke. You're you back again. You're back again. I oh, were dancing. Um, so I put that. That's retired now. Uh, Finish it off with the Geek Vape Zeus X and the mm. Tesla Y2 with some uh, Crimson Seed in there. Oh, Crimson Seed. That's my favourite out of both. Oh, I, like Crimson Crimson seed. Oh, I think oh. I prefer Curious Coddle more. I love Curious that I, I, I like Do you know what? It's, it's, it's good old fashioned toss up between two. That is. Yeah. That I mean, they were both good, but just good old fashioned for me was a bit better. Awesome. <clears throat> I think that's one of the best jams I've on ever tasted. A big... Oh, yeah, ladies oh, and gentlemen, we, we are not sponsored he's by Sports Direct. <laughs> <laughs> that, that Sports Direct cut was far too big for the camera. There, it totally froze. <laughs> you ever spill one of them? You need a boat to get out of the room. <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely. That's actually now just finished. Um, that. That cup of coffee, and I've got some lemon juice. Yeah, it's so. Uh... Bunny says you need to feed your hamsters. Oh, you know me. You know me. You know how my internet works. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah. It fucking doesn't. So well, guessing... that's why it's retro. He's still do using dial-up. He's still using dial-up on AOL. <laughs> yeah. That's. Okay, I have to put fifty p in meter, and away we go. <laughs> so. He's looking like me in the caravan. <laughs> that was Adam Mister. I was going to call him GBB I, I, there. He's I, not GBB. It does feel like caravan. <laughs> that was Mister Retro Vapes TV. I guess it's my turn. Usual setup. I've got the Q Mini. There we go. With the Kylan Mini V2. No, Kylan V2. It's not the Mini. The other Q Mini with the Kelpie, as always. However, that is beautiful. That's like the very, very mod nice. from Harry Potter. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Lion's Mane Sterling Silver Edition because it's got the sterling silver flakes at the bottom end of the um, at the bottom end of the stem. I have got the Fakir's Mods Ion Version Two filled with some rather rather nice ra ra rather nice uh, Virginia tobacco, and I am currently vaping like a sir. Thank you very much. Is it me when he gets something really posh and does he start changing his voice and his manner? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. You would, you would have never done that persona if you were on a vat here, would you? No. It's quite pretentious and tacky. I love it. I really want one. <laughs> Fuck, you mean pretentious and tacky? This is gorgeous. Fucking love this. Now, who taught you them words? <laughs> <laughs> they weren't me. We've had, a, we've had a little donation there, Vic, uh, from a guy called Flat Cat Vapor. I don't know who's he. Know. Who's Flat Cat Vapor? Never heard of him. Hold on. He, Ten what? quid for Vic because he still has my channel link in the description. Thanks, Daddy. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> off, Gaz. <laughs> don't worry, Gaz. All your links will be stripped out sometime next week because you're now dead to us. Yes. Get them out. You know the you know the head of the lion actually reminds me of the, the use of carve stuff out of coal. Yeah, like old yeah. Stuff, the yep. model trains and horses and shit. Yeah. But yeah, the review. It's always this. like you're cradling a ball sack though when you're vaping a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
bit too wrinkly in it. Thanks. Thanks, Adam. Thanks. Is it one of these things, though, that because it looks nice and it's a bit fancy, it's ridiculously expensive, or is it... It's it's not as expensive as you think it's going to be. Put it that way. The good thing is it's from Vape Smarter. The good thing about Vape Smarter is he doesn't overcharge for the stabilised car wood stuff. Okay, let's change the question. How the fucking much is it? Yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah. What, for this? It's about yeah. 100 and, 180, I think. That's not bad. I'd rather pay 180 for that than one of these 3D printed things, though, to be honest. So, yeah. Oh, Adam's got the well, smart Guardian for about 3 up. Quid. How much? It's about 12 quid now. <laughs> Guardian. Yeah, the Guardian. Oh, yeah. Would you go outside with that, Lovick? Would a fuck yeah. and get mugged? <laughs> You're sitting in the bus like Gandalf. Sitting in the bus like this, I'd get fucking mugged. <laughs> Can you imagine him pulling a green bin behind him like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll get this up. The fuck, I'll get this up because the, the the review for this is up next week, and I've been I've been fucking up in the studio all this week, feet up in the fucking table, giving it loudly in this with all the because I usually leave the the door open in the office. So the building manager can pop in and talk, and everyone's like walking. What the fuck is he vaping on as they're walking past the door? You know, we really want to scare him as well. Get some fish wire onto the door and go, Livy Elsa, bang! <laughs> <laughs> Best thing about it was as well, where it, obviously Flat Cat put that in there saying about daddy, and then he's saying about grab a ball sack. I'm thinking, <laughs> what? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> You, that's what you'd have to be careful for. You'd be sat on bus and someone would replace it and you'd never even know. <laughs> yeah, chunk it. What about you need... kissing a ball sack? Have you set a slippers and a smoking jacket with that? Definitely. Well, this is a phenomenal well, vape. <clears throat> it really is. Is the battery built into that? Is it what? No, it's 18350. Oh, they wee ones. Click fit, so it's basically a mech. Oh, that's how you can tell it's expensive. When they've got an 18350. <laughs> <laughs> It was up by 100 quid. 18350. Check your battery wraps so a little fucking imagine that exploding in your hand. Also, what the fuck have I done here? Sat <laughs> down there with half a lion on your hand. It's like, oh, I don't know what I'm asking. <laughs> what the fuck have I done Bordo here? Like paper says it's fucking ugly. <laughs> you want about the actual mod or. You've got no taste borderline vapour. <laughs> Even comes with a stand. Look at that. Look at that. The oh, stand no, fucking gorgeous. The, that, that's the, the, the 18350 adapters, uh, 100 quid and the stand 80. <laughs> you get the pipe free. <laughs> I'm not being funny, but on the actual stand, it looks like you've been roll, rolling to your own on that. It's sterling silver flakes. Flakes of sterling silver. Same with the actual... That's why it's called the Lion's Main Sterling Silver Edition. It does, the silver I, I, flakes I, I, on it. You wouldn't take it to the pub, though, would you? No, you wouldn't. No. Especially my local would chuck you out. No, I wouldn't mind one, but I wouldn't I wouldn't be like 180 or something like that. He does make really nice mods, though. He does. He does. They're nice. I just don't... Not money I would spend in a vape. See, I've always wanted a because I've got the smart guardian, but eh, I yeah. wanted something like this, and it was like, oh, so nice. Yeah, the, this the smart guardian's nothing spectacular. It's just a, a weird shaped team six fifty. Yeah, mod. That's it. Talking about mods and how much you pay for them. Have you, have you seen this with uh, no, Jake A's? Obviously, I, the only to do with the bot. Is it the boxer mods? Boxer mods. He did the... boxer mods. Is Isn't it... the rebel? It's, that's it, Rebel. That's Rebel, the one. yeah. And he, um, obviously the doors aren't working properly. The five tens are falling out and, and all this stuff. And he's got people to do videos for it. And they're, they're a pretty penny, them, aren't they, them Rebel mods? They're, f they're fucking expensive. Take it, he's going up. The, the, bo the boxer mods are, are unbelievably expensive. Uh, no, we're on about Rebel. I said boxer, I meant Rebel. Uh, Rebel made the boxer mod. It's, it's a 3D printed. When, if you remember, Mark your brother got older one from China. I can't remember what it was called, but he got what it was Gorilla Box or something like that. And it was extremely similar quality, just a, a small, small fraction price. Absolute yeah. small fraction. And that's what I think it anymore. Uh, as well, th th there's, there's, there's two companies that make the boxer style mods. You've got Ginger Vape yeah. 
in the US. Ginger Vape in the US do the boxer style 3D printed. Rebel Vape UK does the Rebel Box over here in the UK. And that's the one yeah, that yeah. Jay Hayes was that's the one that Jay Hayes was going on about. But something like two hundred I think it's like two hundred and twenty, two hundred and fifty quid a pop. That's fucking for a three D printed yeah, yeah. Bit of plastic. And you've got delivery on top of that as well. Yeah, plus delivery. Bob yeah. Just, uh, yeah. And, and some of the videos I've seen is it literally the battery door doesn't fit on. You're paying that sort of amount of money, you expect it to. You expect something like this that actually fucking works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the 510 and shit falling through it. And... Let us know in chat as well. What's your sort of budget of what you would go to, to for, a, for a mod? I, I would never spend £200 on a mod. Unless it were gold plated and it'd do things for me. It was just even when it was like the uh remember when people were going nuts for like the gold black and gold G class and all that, it's like two hundred quid. It's for me that's just not worth it. Like it's not doing enough different to what anything else I've got is doing. Ah, oh, you can get them for pennies and you say one. Like you can tell you can tell I use this a lot with the amount of fucking dust that's on it. <laughs> <laughs> My fucking... camera lens. <laughs> I get if that's your thing, but the way I look at it is if I'm going to spend 100 quid on something, then I could get four or five tanks to review as opposed to one mod to review kind of thing. It's still the way I look at it, though. Yeah. Graham's saying that he'd pay 50 quid because he's actually Scottish. (laughs) One thing says 250 quid on a mech. See, Mark could spend that as well, you know, like your purges and stuff. Mm. Um, Pay 290 euros for a lizard Komodo. Isn't that just like a lizard? (laughs) <laughs> um, the, five up at <laughs> I, I, the most expensive mod I've ever bought was the um, dot mod Petri Light. Oh yeah, and that that was sixty quid at Expo. That's oh, the, most the most expensive. expensive I would have been. It won't be that much. It's probably the Steam Cave Titan was like hundred. That's probably the most I'd spent. I think I think when I first started in two thousand and six, I, I spent eighty five quid on a little shitty globe pen thing where you didn't even know how much nicotine you got, and then I spent a hundred pound on a Wismec, you know the uh, what is it the thingy S? What you had? You had the two thirds. What is it? Rulo. Um... The Rulo. Oh, the Rulo. The Rulo. Rulo. Mine was the was it the S? I got the S, and I think I paid hundred pound with that with a baby beast. The most I Maybe spent was two hundred and seventy-five oh. quid, what and was that, that was on that was on the uh, the Turnwood FX Cali that I got at, that, that I got last year, and that was a Christmas present to myself. Chunk said he paid three hundred and seventy pound for my ZNA thirty. Jesus, the ZNA that's going back a bit. Fucking hell, Chunk. People kind of treat them like collector's items as well, though, don't they now? It's like... Well, I mean, look at Jay Hayes. He spent $4,000 on a mod. <laughs> oh, that, that was the one with... Was that the silver one with all the things in it? Yeah. Oh, I love that mod. It, it were actually um, a tube mod, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a tube mod. Did it have a... a di- is it Dicor? Dicodies. Yeah. Yeah, Dicodies. I like that menu. It looks really nice. I've a lot d- of people I'd... don't like but. I'd be fucking scared to use a mod because it costed that much in case I scratched the fucking thing. But it was it wasn't actually you know like we have you know like the silver where it's all nice and shiny. That was like silver, but it was pure silver. So yeah. like a but you still wouldn't take it out on that price, would you? No, you get mugged. <sighs> Kevin says I have that mod that you have. Which mod that I have on the shelf, and uh, what tank would I find for it? Wait for him to pop back up with that one. LCL, how are you doing, buddy? How are you doing, oh, LCL? 110 pounds in a real mod, real grand. Real grand? Was that not a squonker? Sure, that was a squonker. That's probably as like as high as I would go, though, definitely. <clears throat> You've got to think about it as well. Obviously, a lot of us lot are more the hobbyists of the. Sort of thing, and obviously also reviewers. Well, a lot of people are, who are in chat are the uh, hobby hobbyists, so you do end up spending that little bit extra money when you're just coming off the sink. You're not really bothered about that, are you? You're, you're bothered about does that device work? Is it going to get me off them stinkies? 
Um, but as you go along, a lot of people think it's going to save you money, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Because you get shiny itis. <laughs> The best thing you can do is stick to pods, really. And if you're tr- if you if yeah. you are just want to stop smoking, the, the best thing for you is things like pods and and just using them. But that's what a lot of and that's what a lot of people end up doing. They end up sticking with pods just to give up smoking. But then the vast majority go, "Oh, I like this vaping. I'm going to go into my local vape shop and spend even more money." And then they start getting hooked. Mm. And then they start building, which is, which is really good. Yeah. Um, quite a number of kits that have just come in for review, which is the Z, uh, sorry, Zero G. Um, they're, they're adding the RBAs to the actual kits now, aren't they? They're not yeah. going to be an extra purchase. They're actually putting them in the kits. Which they should um, have done in the first place. Yeah, but you know what we used to say before, obviously with the coils, they're not going to get any return on it. Where are they getting the return? Well, they realise that a lot of people that buy kits like that half of them may end up using the rebuildable, but the other half, they're going to keep buying the coil. It's a bit like the Oxford kits. <coughs> they, they, they came with the rebuildable stuff, but for me, the flavour of the stock coils is decent enough. Oh, and yeah. They're small, they're fiddly to build on. I'd rather spend a tenner every few weeks than build that thing all the time. It's, yep. it's so e- much easier. Adam, but, would you think that were a bit different? Do you, do you know what? I, I've been having this discussion with my wife over the last couple of nights about the different types of vaping because I, I said over, over the years of reviewing, you guys will be exactly the same, that we've seen multiple people come through and, and you get people who used to come in chat that still used uh, pens and pods and all these other things and then you get the other beast. And I says you either go one way or the other. You either stay on that true sort of nature way of I'm just doing this to stay smoke free or you then move into bigger clouds better flavor better looking mods better looking um tanks rdas were the big one for me the moment i got a plume veil i would never i would never turn him back oh. and that was the first rda i ever owned and that were it I, I were away then i got a plume veil i built it for the first time didn't blow myself up and thought do you know what <laughs> this is it this is it for me it's always a bonus for you. Because going... obviously at the time, it was all ghost stories. You build a coil, you're going to blow yourself up. Um, Adam, it's a fucking but... bomb, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bomb. It's a bomb. Yeah, that was coming. But that was it. You go, in, you go into the hobbyist side of it. And when you go into the hobbyist side of it, that's when it becomes so much fun. That's when it becomes expensive, but that's when it becomes fun. Because you go from... when, If you remember the first time you ever went down to zero Nick and lasted over a day without ripping anyone's head off, was just I wouldn't even last an hour. Bonus for you. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I did. I, I I used to be able to go a full day. I, it, it it sounds a bit half elitist, but when we were doing that many juice reviews, you'd got that many juices with nicotine coming in that you had yeah. to wean yourself off. And that first day that you go without nicotine, that's when it becomes pure hobby because there's nothing tying you to 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 nicotine anymore, and you're like. <laughs> I just want everything. Shiny itis kicks in, and you might as well just wave goodbye to your wallet. Absolutely. Sinister Minister's asking, um, has anyone changed their vape style with all the lockdown and Brexit recession? I've actually seen myself vaping more during this whole lockdown shit because I'm tearing my fucking hair out. Martin Saunders, cheers! I think, if anything, I've come away a lot more from direct to lung stuff i think because i'm sitting in the house more so like i can't blow the big clouds all the time it pisses fuel off if i'm sitting and you can't see me from the <laughs> <laughs> so i tend to like, sit like, in the living room with these little things all day like just with not much clouds whereas before that when i was out and about all the time i'd tend to be blowing bigger clouds higher vg juices and stuff like that so i think kind of that way it probably has changed a little bit i have noticed Especially, especially up at the office, that I do tend to. I'm using high nicotine liquids like a crutch now, because when I start getting stressed out with all the lockdown shit that's going on, and I can't toddle down the town to talk to the local vape shop because they're always fucking shut, and I'm stuck in the office, which the office building's like a ghost town now because hardly anyone's going in. I'm sitting there on my fucking tod, thinking, well, this is fucking great. The zombie apocalypse is coming at the end of this year. We're all going to die. We're all fucked. And that's when I start chain hitting the 18 milligram free base. Then I start feeling ill because of nicotine overdose and I start throwing up. Yeah, 
you know, a lot, um, a lot of, I think it was actually, I watched Benny's Vapes this morning when I was editing uh, that um, they were talking about how people's changed the same as what we're talking about. And they were saying a lot of people, if you haven't checked that show out, it's on a Wednesday after three men in a vape show, go and check it out. Really nice people. Um, they, they were saying about a lot of people gone to mouth to lung because obviously the liquid, you're not using it as, as much, are you? True. Yeah, it's True. a lot more economical, isn't it? It's a lot yeah, so more. It's, it's saving them money. Um, you're still getting that nick it. Obviously, you can push it up a little bit more. You're only vaping it at, what, 15 to 20 watts. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people Batteries have done that to save money. Yeah. And uh, you can see why. I mean, if you've got a higher nicotine, t technically, you, you don't need to vape as much. Your battery lasts you a lot longer. Your juices are lasting you a lot longer. And especially with the, the uh, inconsistency of vape shops not being open, I mean... I know of three around me that have, that were doing click and collect throughout the last two lockdowns and just went, no, we're not doing it anymore. And <clears throat> obviously online shopping's becoming a big thing. And, and with all this with PayPal and everything else, I think it's, it, it is changing the way that people vape completely. Oh, it has. Uh, it de definitely has. Especially when, it, especially because here, and it's, it's probably going to, this, it's going to be the same for a lot of towns and cities up and down the country. There's usually a vaporized, in most of the big cities and if you get a vaporized you're probably guaranteed there's going to be a local vape shop sitting there as well and yeah each each style of vapor goes to their particular favorite shop like if it's a cloud chucker that likes smock stuff they normally go to vaporized if they're a rebuilder though and they like rebuilding tanks they normally go to their local indie vape shop because vaporized don't deal or vpz now they don't deal in rebuildables the trouble is if both the vape shops and a town shut down and you've got someone who likes chucking clouds and they don't have the first clue about where to go to buy online then that person's fucked they're going to be fucking lost the I mean, shop, oh. shop down the road from me it, obviously we're, we're in a quite a big we're, we're just out of town but it's uh, quite a big village they're all uh, pods and stock coils yeah. yeah. They didn't even they didn't even have um cotton. There's only oh, a vape shop with no cotton. No cotton. If you need some cotton, I've still got tons. I'll send you some. <laughs> do you know do you know what they've done to stay open? The actual vape shop is open. They've done one side of it with pot noodles, toilet paper and other bits. <laughs> and they <laughs> they are shot. classed. And it was because the shop before it was actually a um a, a green grow not a green grocer, but like a, a shop, a normal shop you can go into. And they kept it that way. <sighs> that's a good idea, actually. And Night. that's what they did. They've got one section, toilet paper, loads of other bits and bobs outside, and they stay open. Knight's asking what's a good squank, okay? For a first time squanker. <laughs> 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 yeah, do you know someone did call me a squanker once? Yeah. <laughs> you did call yourself Pudpaw. <laughs> no, yeah. oh, oh. It's hindsight, isn't it? It's, if I knew it was an American fanny at the time, I wouldn't have, but I didn't know that. So, yeah, a good squonker for a first time squonker night, it would be the top side, either the top side single or the top side dual, and All then right. get yourself. Get yourself any any recent RDA, any, any recent RDA, because a lot of the RDAs, but if you know what you should do, get yourself a topside dual, because fuck the topside single, it's not worth it. Topside dual and the mongrel RDA, perfect setup. There you go. Do you know, do you, know are you just saying there about the, the, the topside as well? If you wanted to pay a little bit less, but have the bit where you can actually change it and use the 21700, use the topside light. Yeah. What? I keep forgetting about the light. You can, yeah. you can use the top side the light as a, as a swanker, but then you can take it away and then just use that as a normal mod. And and if I if I would say anything about swanking and a decent RDA, I would sit down there and tell you the Tallow X is absolutely corking. Geek vape. Or if you want to spend less than a tenner on a decent dripper, the one that Adam showed, the Wasp Nano. The Wasp. Yeah, Wasp, the wasp Nano. Yeah. You can't can if you do get the. Um... Top side, be very careful with your battery door because it will eventually break. <laughs> There's no other way about it. It will eventually break, but it might take years. <laughs> You're very soft with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ace is in the house. Nice to see you, brother. How you doing, Jake? Ah, oh, the camera's not fucking here anymore, is it? It's over. <laughs> <laughs> 
Pud's just like that. How you doing, Jay? That 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 those fifty bucks are gonna go are gonna go towards the beer fund for the UK vape show for this year's upcoming this year's upcoming fucking export. There's gonna be one on. I think uh, October we might we might in October. Yeah, there's not gonna be one in May. That's for Hopefully. fucking sure. Me. I thought, I thought uh, Cheech had actually just got a little bit more like happier. Or... <laughs> well, you want to know something odd? Apart from me, you want to know something odd? I seen an advert on Facebook. Right, and the ad, no, no, uh, hold on, (laughs) bear bear with me here. The advert was for the German Hall of Vape this May, so apparently the Hall of Vape is actually going on. I don't know. Expo advertised right up to the bit like quite late on, didn't they? They were still keeping it on until quite late. I don't know. You know what I want to do with that Hall of Vape, don't you? I want to get dropped off at Amsterdam, and I want to use all the subs to get me across with no money. I've got to get all the way from Amsterdam to Germany. You'd just stay in Amsterdam. I would fucking... Yeah, I would come with, I'd go with you. We'd be fucked in Amsterdam in the first night. Yeah, but you've got to jump the trains. We've got to use the subscribers, the other reviewers that we know, to get us across. I don't know. See, that would be my issue. Like, most British people struggle to understand me. Like, little fucking Timmy in Holland has no idea what the fuck I'm saying. There's me taking you around on shrooms. He'd be like, it's okay, mate. It's only a train. It's not a... Goodbye, you're fine. On shrooms. <laughs> you know where you got them from as well, don't you, Vic? In the glens. <laughs> Three times we've tried to book Amsterdam this year, and three times it's been fucking cancelled. They've given up with Amsterdam. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, riding through the glen. There's no fucking glens in Sherwood Forest. Fuck off! (laughs) It it comes from your language, and it's also Irish as well. It's actually, it's Irish as well. So it's not just just in Scotland. But there's no glens in Sherwood Forest. No. See, we've also got not, Hooked on Funk. We've got Hooked on oh. Funk. He will get us to Rotterdam, and then we'll use all his contacts to get us to Germany. Could be Rotterdam. Could be anywhere. Why don't you just go could straight, be anywhere. Why don't you just go straight to Hall of Vape? Yeah, because it's the fun of doing the vlog, isn't it? That's no, the but you, thing. You, you, lot, you lot would end up going to Amsterdam, and then you're going, ah, fuck it, we're just staying here. Ah, we're not <laughs> going to. I want to get there. I want to get there. I'll get hammered when I get there, because I'll stick things with my bum. <laughs> no I'm joking. I'll, I'd be totally. I'd love to do that. I'd be up for that. What stick things up you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> getting dropped off in Amsterdam and seeing here we go. It's out there on the red light district. You'd be fine, son. You're all right. I'll pimp you out. In fact, I just said you get a lot of probably end up in a window. To be fair, so like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd get one of those like, little nipple tassels. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Mannion, uh, Jay Hayes, guest caster next week. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, Jay's up for it. <clears throat> so we're going to do something that I basically forgot about, caster's questions. questions. Martin Hart did remind us like five, ten minutes ago, but we forgot. <sighs> so caster's questions on the UK vape shows. Oh, fuck, I forgot to remove... See, flat. just when I see McTavish there, if McTavish ever wants to come back on the show, he has to dress up as a female again. He has to dress hey, he up as so a female. He was so good at that. He was fucking stunning. He was. <laughs> he, was. <laughs> he was. And the thing about it, he had all that flicks and he kept doing this and all that. And I'm like, whoa, Jesus. <laughs> <self."> <laughs> <laughs> I just says they don't do nipple tassels that would fit me. I would need cotton pills. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Biscuit nipples. <laughs> So, caster's questions. First one's a very simple one. Paul Grierson, what vape stuff did everyone get for Christmas? Nothing. Oh, you want to know I what know. I got for Christmas? I'll show you. I got a new monitor stand. It's one of those. It's one of those arm monitor standy thingy me doohickeys. Um, yeah, I didn't get anything. I didn't get anything vape related because that's what you don't need to hold them up anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so, so can we just like can we can we divert that? How many chocolate things did you get for Christmas? How many chocolate things? I got a two and a half kilogram bar of Toblerone, three Cadbury Excellence Excellence 
selection boxes, which means it was all dark chocolate. I got three of those. Oh, you animal. I got four family-sized Aero bars. Now, I don't know if you've seen these, but in certain shops, it's basically... You know the family-sized bars of Galaxy that's about this big? Mm. Well, there's a two-family-sized bar of Galaxy that's two and a half foot long, a foot up and down, <sighs> and three inches thick. I got one of those. <clears throat> I oh, like God, chocolate. Big little bro. I, I like I like chocolate. So they don't I smoke. didn't get any vape stuff. I I I got this. If my internet will hold up while I move my camera, that's the top of my head. I didn't get that. You got a wig? Um, no. <laughs> I, I got that, which you can't see because of the light. But that is the uh, original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles signed by the creators. <sighs> signed? Ah. Oh. Signed by the creators, and that is a, a Necker turtle. If anyone's ever heard of Necker, if anyone's into collectibles, Necker is like a Necker turtle. It, it's, it's, it's a Does that mean he likes my wife, bought, <laughs> my wife bought me that. That is it's my prized possession. That that's in the world of collectibles, uh, Necker make action figures, and she bought me that. And I was literally like a kid at Christmas when I opened it. Oh, and by the way, hello, oh. Adam's wife. Hi, Adam's she wife. Is watching. I know, I know you're watching. She is watching. See that? I've got bingo wings. Where's that come from? Lock down Lock down for you. Bingo wings. All the fours. Don't do it too quick, mate. You might fucking take off. <laughs> she's, she's stamping on the floor now, saying hi back, by the way. Do you want to see my Christmas present from Vape Heads? Oh, a Delegaf Portarati stand. Oh, he's a star. With Buckfast on it. Buckfast on it. I'm trying to get it. It's because of the light in here. Hold on. Very nice. Blame it on the Bucky. Yep. <laughs> I got myself one of these, so thank you very much to it, Stevie Deligarf. If you want one of these, check him out on Facebook. He makes some fucking awesome stands. I've actually ordered a new stand for myself for the studio from Steve. I think he's going to. I think he's making it right now, actually. And he chucked me in a new one of these as well. Oh. <laughs> Mines are up there. I'm too lazy to pick it up. So a huge How did you know, Michael? And vape heads for that. <clears throat> and he is one of the nicest people you ever fucking meet as well. He's a lovely bloke, yeah. isn't he? He is. He's a very nice man. Very, very nice. He doesn't work for AA, does he? <laughs> <laughs> if he's let me see all his... Uh, Stevie was showing me all his, his desk set up and all that as well. With the big uh, steampunk desk and that he's got. It's fucking awesome. McTavish said I need one of those stands where you know what to do, bro. Steve Deligarf. Deligarf <laughs> stands, it is, isn't it? Oh, and he, I'll tell you what he did as well, though, didn't he? He shaved all his hair off as well. He did really well. Oh, I do that every month. I forgot he did that, actually. <laughs> he shaved all his hair off. He actually had a good hair. That was a very good question. wife were very happy. Paul Grierson. Moving on to the next one, Ben White. This is an interesting one. If you were to set up a company, doesn't have to be a vape company, right? If you were to set up a company, what would be the first product you would design and release? That's a good question. It doesn't have to be vape. Doesn't have to be vape. <laughs> right, I've, I've, I've had this idea for years and years, right? You know, outside of a pub. <laughs> Honestly, I really have. Outside yeah. of a pub, you know you've got the actual ventures. Yeah. Right, so inside the benches, you put a cold plate square so that when you put your pint on it, it keeps it cold. So underneath you'd have like a refrigerated unit. So, and then either side as well, you could have a little square bit where you put your pint in as well, and that'd keep it cold as well for the summer. Oh, that's a good idea. Have you told anyone about this idea, Aiden? <laughs> He's painted. <laughs> I sent it to my brother in drawings. That's a good All right, idea. it was in crayon. Because it'll keep, it'll keep the paint nice and cool during hot yeah, summer. Yeah, so you'd have please. like a cold plate in the middle and you just put your, your, your pint on underneath, you'd have a refrigerated unit. That's a good idea. That That's trumped every single thing that I could even think of because mine's all food related, so... That's really, really hard, I don't know. I mean, I think if I'd thought of the idea, I might have done it by now. <laughs> Uh, well, um, Irish says uh, basically that's a pelter cooler. Pelty cooler, yeah. I don't even know what that is. Pelty, it's um, 
you know those, it's a, I'm, I'm, I'm oversimplifying this, but the little clickers that cause a spark, you get them in old lighters, so it's clicking, yeah. it's an, an electrical spark. You get loads of those. This is oversimplifying it for all you electricians out there. Don't fucking shoot me, but you get loads of those together, <laughs> right? And if you create enough of a Peltier charge, it automatically starts to cool down the metal surrounding it. They actually do exist, but they're very fucking expensive. Very expensive. Can I just this this one here, uh, Paul McCartney? A button under your chin that pauses the TV so that when you fall asleep, pitch, you don't miss the football. <laughs> Any button here? So we... <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what would I do? I know what I would do. I would start up a company. Now, what we would do this? What? What we no, would do this? I, 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 I'm not drinking fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> I would start up a company that deals in. Okay. I don't want to go down the road of consoles because consoles can go fuck themselves. What? Consoles are dying. What? <laughs> <laughs> Me and Aiden on the same wavelength again like that. Boom. That's how he said it. He just turned into Escobar. <laughs> I would do a company that deals with... <laughs> what the fuck? I would start up a company that deals in... Probably computer peripherals, like gaming computer peripherals. Because here's the thing, you get a shitty keyboard, put some LEDs on it, and call it a gaming keyboard, you can automatically bump 50 quid onto the price and make a fucking fortune. That's what I would do. Uh, what you want to do with really that? a fucking company? idea, you're just ripping people off, that's not good, is it? But it's capitalism, as my, as my glass says. Oh, you can't see it because it's empty, but it does say capitalist bastard on it. Yeah, but are you sure it's not half full? <laughs> oh, it's empty. It's definitely empty. Which means see the thing with those like, light up keyboards and stuff like that. See if you can get on board with a company like Very or one of these companies that do catalogs like Little Woods, and like kids are crying yeah. to their mums they want light up keyboards and shit like that. See if you're in with one of the kind of companies selling these keyboards for a fortune. I mean, I'm a, I'm a mug. I, well, I've to be got... fair, if KFC can create a computer, gaming console. If KFC can create a gaming gaming console, then Vic can. Fucking right. Michael Ross, the Xbox is at least five years behind any gaming PC you can build. That is really true. Hashtag PC Master Race. You see, obviously, Vic, obviously, if you did a, a console, you, what you'd be able to do is call it the Kelpie. You'd be able to put your CD in, but eventually you get a dry hit. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> right there, it just spells out the same. <laughs> Yeah, I'd 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 make the console and and then the console would be sold and halfway through the sales cycle the company would go bankrupt and not give me any more money. Art Richardson, how you doing? You capital bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is getting RGB now though. I, I, when I was trying to buy a chair last week, I, was, I did ask, like, would it be acceptable to buy an RGB chair? And was quickly told, absolutely fucking not. <laughs> <laughs> would, um, would you Would you like yeah, to you tell everybody who's watching? Yeah, three of them. <laughs> Hood, would you like to tell everybody about your actual build of that chair? See, Ronnie put this in chat earlier. No one picked up on it, I don't think. But oh. so I built the chair like on Zoom because people wanted to watch and laugh, and no one watched and laughed because I built it really, really well and nothing. There was no issues. And then I was sitting like a couple hours later, thinking it's just not adjusting properly, and like the bum was coming right up, and my legs were tipping down. <laughs> So when I went below it, there's a big white sheet of paper with big red writing on it that says front with an arrow pointing point front. Oh, oh God. I had that on at the back. <laughs> so when I was tipping it, it was trying to tip me out of the chair rather than let me tip back. <laughs> Just think you've not set your fucking camera breathing properly, have you? Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah this thing doesn't want to focus tonight. I've, I've noticed that, but... I, I was actually the, the best bit about it was I was actually quite proud I'm like I've just built something so the week before I'd built a, a sideboard for the living room and it hasn't fallen down so I'm like I'm getting better I'm getting there I built the chair no issues with that I thought this is getting better Pudge you're finally turning into a man you might get a beard soon and <laughs> fucking then then it was backwards <laughs> you built it backwards 
So the next thing about you know about like building stuff, but ever since me and Lou have been together, we've been fifteen years. She just phones her dad. She didn't even ask me. She just <laughs> she didn't even yeah. ask me. She just phones her dad. If Fiona does that quite a lot, with my me, wife like... is exactly the same. We bought a new blind for the kitchen the other day. She's phoned her mum to come and fit it. <laughs> <laughs> I've come home a few times. The now. best thing about it, though, though Adam, the best thing is that she's going to ring you to do Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly. I get I get a phone call for mobile phone, Dutch puddings, food, uh, but any manual labour in the house because my my <laughs> hit it with a hammer and that's it done. <laughs> hammer I'm usually work. Like, you know, I got a plumber out exactly. tonight. Uh, so the radiator in my bedroom wasn't working, and we bled it for ages. We thought there was air stuck in it. Plumber came out, hit it with a hammer at the on the edge, and it was literally just came out and fucking hit it with exactly. a hammer. He's like, oh, there's something in the bit you turn that sticks or something. <laughs> Boom, done. <laughs> yeah. So the Probably next eighty quid. Thank you very much. The yeah, next question. Well, two hundred quid. <laughs> the next question is from Mister Hooked on Funk. Have you ever heard his voice? It's like fucking butter rolling down. That is. Oh. Next question is from Mister well, Hooked Jake on Funk. Jake is one of the nicest folks you'll ever meet. He does these wonderful raps. Wonderful raps for your ages, uh, and ages I legend. Don't I need that Deadpool one. I've lost my ages. So, Hooked on Funk asks, this is a wide open question, but she does say in the question, what is your prediction on vape gear for 2021? I think we will probably... Kind of irrelevant for me. AIOs and... (laughs) I'd like to see... I'd like to see the return of RTAs and things, you know, we haven't had that much rebuildable dual coil big fuckers like the Arbiter for a while. This is, I was quite excited getting this because it was a bit different than anything I'd been getting for a while. So I'd like to see it kind of going back that way. But to be honest, it's it's going to go whatever way is going to make money in it. Yeah. But it's, uh, what, it's a strange what, what one, was... that because... Go on. No, you go, bro. It, it, I was just about to say it's a strange one with with the route that I'm on at the minute with the retro vape. I, obviously, you can see a lot of things going round in circles. It's just trying to predict that next circle that's coming round. And I think I think Pud's pretty bang on. The the tank scene, the RDA, the RDA scene came round a little bit. Now we've full circled back to the MTL uh, tanks. So it is about time that something big came out, something a bit different. Some, and and the the arbiter for for all intents and purposes is made by the same guy who designed the Go, uh, the Zeus X. Yep. So it's pretty similar. It's pretty similar to the Zeus X, but that doesn't mean that the next step in, in RTAs is is not a million miles away. I don't think. I think Paul Fuller goes kind of right as well. I'd like to see like battery technology is probably like it's kind of stayed quite stagnant compared to everything else hasn't it i think that would be nice to see like, some development there but it's how they do that well we, obviously they, they did a lot with lipos and stuff like that i'd also like to see battery charges change a little bit you know obviously you know we've got them spring loaded bits where you push it in something needs to be done on the fact of that because i don't know how many of you i've i've, I've literally got them on my desk so i put them on and then all if you don't quite get it they can spring off if you're having to pick them off the other side yeah, yeah they also bend the wrap they also bend the rip the wraps underneath so it, something needs to be looked on on that sort of side the mouth to lung what what you was talking about as well adam has been coming about round for quite a while um, i remember talking yeah. about this back maybe we we were still doing shows i, I don't know but we, i would talk about look you can sort of see it coming back around the mouth to lung stuff yeah um and i think that's been massive the side by sides again the side by sides are big see you, you we we again you go back to 2016 2017 the, the side by sides were there yeah and, and then and and now it's, it's we're, we're at the slow end night again. The thing with the battery chargers is well, the batteries all kind of, depending on branding, they're all slightly different size and slightly different tops. And that you need to be kind of careful that way. I think that makes it a bit more difficult for these companies developing the chargers, doesn't it? But if, if I'm totally honest with you, in the future, in my mind, is, is going to be exactly what we've been getting. It's going to be a mixture between having a pod mod with a 510 adapter and it's going to be that way on for the rest of the year, in my mind. Um, Instead of a company doing something good at one thing, they want to do something good at half a thing, if that makes sense. 
And I think that's what you're going to look at. I think it's going to slow down as well because they're talking about China going into lockdowns and stuff again. So things are going to start to slow down that's coming out of China. That Everything's going to start to slow down in the next few months again, I think, as well. We're heading back towards what we were like at the start of the last year. So we're probably going to see that slug that slow down again in a few weeks' time. Reflecting Steve Crave have just released the new Titan. I, I, we, I think we all probably got the email as well. It, that's coming out with a new tank. It looks exactly the same to me as the, exactly the other tanks, if I'm honest with you. Yeah. It looks exactly the same, except they've got a deck now where you can do parallel and also series in one, one deck. Um, they're not, there's not as much hype around the Steam Crave stuff as there used to be now, though, is there? I think people are kind of not as interested the way they were before. Steam Crave used to be high end in the high end uh, area many years ago when they were first knocking around. I remember Vic reviewing quite a lot of Steam Crave stuff at the at the beginning. It was quite difficult to get hold of. <laughs> they were difficult, yeah, they were. That's probably. I've still, I'm still got to admit, though, I don't know if anybody else admits it, the 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 quality of their stuff is. is oh, it's good. It's, that, everything is quality. That thing got, that's been fucking chopped down steps, kicked away, and I came out of the house one day in a rush, and I dropped it as I was going down the steps and kicked it, and it battered to fuck away, and it's. It still works. Yeah, you Matt Mannion, I think that's an absolute great idea. Solar powered mods or mods that can charge by solar power. Or, you would or, need or kinetic mods. You go like ah. <laughs> and that's charge like budgies. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> charging me mods that don't mind me. Budgie mate, that's budgies. what you need. <laughs> 300 watt one. <laughs> 200 what oh. one? Yeah. Fucking hell, they've all died. They've all fucking died, haven't they? <laughs> you know why they've all died? Because it were a coup. Didn't they? You moved that about to, to change it all. I think that's it. They do that in watches, don't they? When it moves, it's so it... Yeah, I've got yeah. one of those kinetic watches. To be honest with you, in lockdown, I think a lot of men will be doing that as well. Yeah. Um, but I, I think that solar powered thing would be good. You know, like side of your mod, you know, just sit, you sit down there in the summer and... It would be, Im it, it would be impossible. It to would, the power to, that you would need. Like, yeah, to make a mod. <laughs> how many the, how many solar panel cells would you need? Like? Well, I mean, if you, if, you, if, you look, if you look at the top of the line solar panels that you see on most, most houses, roofs these days, you see, generally speaking, seven rows eight deep of one foot by one foot square panels. You would need about three of those, so three foot long panel, to supply enough power on a bright sunny day to charge two 18650s in about two and a half hours. You can't I, I that disagree around. on that because you can actually get solar panel cameras that are actually powered just by solar panel uh, with the same sort of batteries of what we use. Yeah, but cameras we're not on about to power it completely we're on about to charge the battery oh. so it'd be trickle charge wouldn't it you wouldn't be sat down there trying to run it from it I'd you'd actually be trying to trickle sat there with a field it. of solar panels down there with your titan mod from um steam crave with like great big stuff on your back <laughs> i'm one of these turtles you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> But you'd um, trickle charge it, wouldn't you? You wouldn't be trying to work it from it. Yeah, you would be trickle charging it, but the amount of it, the trickle charge would be fucking pointless. <laughs> that, that's probably because you live in fucking Scotland. Yeah, there's no sun <laughs> up there. There's no sun. No sun. There's no Ten sun. years to charge it, the battery drains faster than the charge. <laughs> <laughs> so who are we going to go to next? Oh, this is going to be a quick one. Samantha Goddard, what did you think of New Year's Day's Doctor Who? It was a fucking abomination. Chris Chibnall should be fucking ashamed of himself and the BBC can get to fuck. That's what I thought about Doctor Who. I'm not paying my daily licence. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't watched it since that bloke had the, the, the cricket jumper on. Peter Davison? That was back in the 80s. Yeah, I haven't watched it really. You know in what? fact, no, Imu was he was really good. Um, Imu was in um, Harry Potter. David Tennant. Yeah, he was good. I just don't get it, man. Chasing about little hoovery things in a phone box. It's 
I had it on in the background, but that's only because Jack Harkness was coming back. And uh, Jack Harkness, what's his name? Yeah, Jack Harkness was coming back. And I, I must say, I, I had it on in the background and, and sort of just went, mm, no. I don't like the, I don't mean it's sexist, but I don't like the girl. I don't like the actress who plays him. The actress is fine. It's the writing that's in a fit. The, the writing just sucks. It's fucking awful the way they're writing it now. So that was a very quick question. <laughs> Who are we going to go to next? We are going to go to... Hold on. Aiden's doing a job just now. Oh, right. That's why he's gone then. <sighs> Martin Hart. You had to ask that one. We're going to have to fucking ask it. He's gave us a choice of two. I'm going to skip the first one and go on to the second question. Mm. What are the caster's <laughs> thoughts about Rip Trippers putting his name on that new Aegis mod? Major fucking cash grab beating a dead horse or what? Martin couldn't yeah. agree with you more. I mean, what input is he likely to have had? None. He that device? He's... He, All he probably... is... He probably All that is an the device hero. or held it or anything until it was fucking readily made, packaged, yeah. either sent out for review so he can see it fucking hits like a whatever, but yeah. We went through exactly the same thing all but a year, two years ago with the Pulse mod. That's all I'm going to say. We went through exactly the same, made exactly the same argument for it. It's the same thing being released over and over again with someone just going, name on it. Yeah. I mean, it was the Aegis line has been good. I've, anything I've had from it, I've liked. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, there's just no <clears throat> You know, you know there was, that's the thing. You, like, you, years ago, I, it was different, but now you just, everything's amazing. It's fucking all flashy. It's like watching. You know when you late at night when those American TV adverts come on and it's all really eccentric and annoying and I'm going to do a little plug for my channel if you don't mind because I did do a reaction video to Rip's first ever video. Go <laughs> and watch that if you if you have any inkling that you think that you know Rip Trippers, go and watch his first video that was ever posted to his to his channel over on. I, I did a reaction to it literally. It is you'll see the man is the best salesman out there. Mm -hmm. He was one not of the best well. builders. Yeah, well, that's he, it. he used to show you how to yeah. like, rebuild all your stock coils and all that kind of shit. You know how to strip them out and yeah, he used to make. He he shown you. He he actually gave the credit to Twisted Messes as first ever Clapton. It was the first ever Clapton I'd ever seen made on YouTube as well. <coughs> but now he is, uh, like you say, a sleazy car salesman. Now he's a marketer. Yeah. That's all he is. Like he built the um, the Krangatech. It was the O O whatever is C. Coil, um, yeah, the OC coil heads. Yeah, yeah, he, he showed you how to rebuild them, and you can tell just from the way he did the whole fucking super bloke, and then he tried to do the help fucking feel good shit. You, yeah. you can tell it's all just kind of anything for cars, isn't it? <clears throat> Peter, Dry knuckles, just for the fire. I'm a little bit surprised yeah. that Geek Babe to jump on that sort of bandwagon because obviously, I'm not. I know, you know, had already worked no. with Digi Flavor. Rip, well, Rip had already worked with Digiflavor, which was an offshoot yeah. many moons ago. I don't, you don't see anything from Digiflavor anymore. You need, well, you need to look at it. You need really to look nice at it from thing. this. You need to look at it from this point of view. If you want guaranteed sales, guaranteed sales of at least fifty to a hundred thousand units, who are you going to go to to market it for you? Rip Trapper. Well, it's it's yeah. an incredible piece of kit. It's, 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 That's what it's going to be. It's an Aegis hero with a shitty tank. That's all it is. I don't know if it's... I haven't actually seen the, the thing. It looks absolutely them. fucking... It looks like Super Bloke's colours. It does. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it it, makes, it, UK it Andy's makes, watching as well. He, 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 the best thing that he ever came out with in my life was when he sprayed all that stuff all over his... Uh, over the car, he's never cleaned that off properly. <laughs> <laughs> See, that wasn't even original either. Like my kids watch, I think a guy called Lippy, and he's the most annoying little dick you'll ever meet in your life. <laughs> and he, he runs into soft plays and behaves like a child. Anyone else would be arrested, but and he, and he, all he was doing was copying this guy's videos. So it was nothing original. But yeah, I mean this mod or whatever, it might be the best thing ever. But I just don't think you'll have much of a say in how it was put together at all. I don't think you'll... 
you know, it's, I'm not Probably, seeing it. You know, like kids' TV nowadays, it is a little bit strange. You know, like we used to have like Button Moon and all the other bits yeah. and bobs oh, and the Moomins button and button. things like that. Nowadays, it's a Pigeon bit Street. I don't know, man. You used to get like Pingu. Pingu made really strange noises, pissed everywhere and tried to get drunk with his dad. Yeah. <laughs> Pingu wanted my time or Vix. He, that that were way past. I'd already got kids when Pingo come out. Now it's fucking Peppa Pig and all that stuff. Peppa Pig. Yeah, but it's all been rebooted. Danger Mouse came back and things like that. All the stuff that He that Man happened. came back, he had a ponytail, a mobile phone, and he had a complex of what, what gender he was. <laughs> Can I just if Boris Johnson's in chat, he said he'd like to go to Alex Salmon to market his next product. Hello, Boris. Hey, right, Bojo, what's up? Hi, Boris. <laughs> Stay at home. Where's my COVID money, you prick? Go to work. Don't go to work. Stay in the house. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> Ivo the Engine. I, one of the guys at work calls me Ivo the Engine is because of this all the time he calls me. The original Thomas the Tank Engine. The original, mm. yeah, because that was done by Ringo Starr. Ringo Starr, yeah. yep. Ringo Starr. Shut up, Irish. <laughs> so, William Dobson's got a question. There is a fire. Everyone has left and is safe. You have enough time. Open bracket. It's slow moving fire, so even Vic with his shuffle has time. Right there, William. You have enough time to grab one mod and one tank slash RDA. What would you choose? There we go. This has yep. not been out of my hand for how long? Every show we've done, I've had this in my hand. Which is the mix and also the Pandora. It is yep. actually, yeah, thanks, Aiden. <laughs> I thought I'd just let him know. You just like, go like, hey, it's that! <laughs> Do you twat? <laughs> He's on uh, coffee, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. You can see the, the wheels game. turning in Adam's yeah. head. Yeah, well, he's going to think, fuck it, yeah, I'm going to go retro. I'm, <laughs> I, do you I'm know, going to no, take no, a it's break. Not. I, I'm looking <laughs> at... Fr the way that I have my desk set out is I've got all my favourite stuff on the top shelf and then everything else gets put to a shelf. It's like a pawn shop. So it'd have to be the Dead Rabbit V1. The Dead Rabbit V1 with the um, Tesla Y at the minute. Good choice. Yeah, I wanted to put my favourite stuff in these shelves, but then they would fall down. Yeah. <laughs> might make them straight, though. So the heavy stuff a little bit. I think the Titan here and put some batteries on it. Straight <laughs> so Aiden, your house is in fire. What are you picking up? To, to be totally honest with you, as as long as it vapes and it's a decent vape, I couldn't really give a shit. It's, just, it's the type of place I am. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna be like, oh, the house is in fire, but I'm only gonna get two weeks. Yeah, out of that I'm really not gonna be thinking about it. As long as it vapes <laughs> and, and as long as it's got a decent battery life. And it tastes all right. I'll be all right. How are you doing? For me, it would be that. Of course, we knew exactly what it was going to be. It's just a waste of fucking time, isn't it? Yeah. It would be. It would be one of the Q minis I've got sitting here. But but this particular one, the Q mini with the uh, with the Kylan two. See, everyone thought I would see a Kelpie, but the Kelpie's about a year and a half old. In fact, almost two years old now. So it would be that because I'm fucking constantly vaping in this. With the black thing. vine as well. But fucking right, the black vine. Fucking right, there we go. He's a man of habit. He's a man of habit. Black vine. I'd, have some, I'd take some of that just black right vine. now. I'm loving that. Cereal milk and fuel. I'm not being funny, but do you know when you got them bottles through to review, did you think they'd left them at the back of the shop and it were like all faded and it were like, what? <laughs> yeah, some of them were dusty and some of them were bust open. Like The seal was all fine, but there was just coming from somewhere. <laughs> it's like, you know those mystery juice bottles that are up in the shelf? And they're all sitting up. The lids are all fine, but there's still a ring of juice at the bottom of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know where that comes from, don't you? It's actually the top cap, you know, because it, it gathers. Yeah. You know when oh, you do it, and then it sort of like gathers from the top. doesn't matter how clean you get it, mate. There's still some. Uh, just talking about that, this, obviously the mad, mad juice. I absolutely love this top cap that these have got. Now, when me and Adam went to one of the expos, we, we spoke to, um, were it vape, uh, what were it? We used to vape do quite a lot. Distribution. Yeah, and it used to take the top, of it, like the pin off. This one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like that. 
Oh, it, what a great idea! Some of those bottles, when a little pin came out, some of them wouldn't go back in as well. Yeah, but I just yeah, love that. And, and this is uh, Mad Dog's um, GCM Vapes, the, the, their juice. Crazy Loops, I have possibly fried a PC with vape before. Uh, it was in a really small room and the power supply went. I'm not sure if it was definitely vaping that did it, though, because power supplies are a bit like that sometimes. Oh, yeah. VG. VG everywhere. <clears throat> this is why every every summer, cause I, I, I vape like a fucking, fucking Victorian factory churning out fucking smoke. That's how much I vape. Uh, 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 uh. I've lost my train of thought now. Thanks, every Ian. summer, <laughs> <laughs> every summer, come back to Thomas the Tank. Right, every summer, this is what you need to do. If you vape a lot, you will have vegetable glycerin starting to form and coat your motherboard and your computer. What I do is, I go into Loose Mill, order myself a big one and a half liter bottle, squeezy bottle that sprays, right? One and a half liter bottle of 99.9% .9 pure isopropyl alcohol. I rip my computer apart, take all the memory out, take the graphics card out, strip the whole computer down so it's just the motherboard by itself. Then I take it out the front door and empty, just empty the fucking bottle of isopropyl alcohol all over it. And what you'll end up seeing is essentially, well, for me it is anyway, because because I vape so fucking much, you'll end up seeing a load of VG dripping off the end of your motherboard, and you just keep spraying the fucker with isopropyl alcohol until all you see is the alcohol running off. And then what you do, get your motherboard, stick it on top of a radiator, preferably in a well-ventilated room and don't light a fucking match near to it, and let all the alcohol dry off. Clean motherboard. Aiden, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> fuck off because I, I saw you do exactly the same thing but you turned away fuck off bro don't set it up what? I, I honestly have no idea what you're laughing at no me neither <laughs> it'll tell me after the show won't you no you tell me is it when I'm muted to fart no <laughs> no I'll take it I'm giving that <laughs> it's, 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 it's gone bro it's okay it's fine alright Obviously wasn't when I did that then. Think about it though, Vic. Where is your computer positioned? That's what... Well, well, that could probably have something to do with it. Obviously, mine's under my desk. I I've can't... got my computer under the desk and I've had no issues. When I did have an issue, it was sitting where Vix is sitting. And since I've put the computer below the desk, I don't have any video. No, but if, I, if, if you put your computer below the desk, you can't see the shiny lights. Can't you see my fancy lights? Exactly. <laughs> I want my computer there where it, I can see the lights. To be fair, it's, 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 it's the fancy same as lights microphones. the black poles on. <laughs> <laughs> you're, here to, you're here to put a service. You're a business now, remember? <laughs> That was, I've been all fun and games, son, until you lose a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Can't Part see the bloody really lights. Cool. What do you want them for? Because they look cool. Do they? To you? Nobody else is seeing them. <laughs> yeah. Get some flashy ones. You know them ones you can get for £8 off of eBay or Amazon that you do a lot of reviews on as well? <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about that? <laughs> That's my sideline. Oh, I, I, yeah, I found your page. I've seen it all. <laughs> <laughs> He's also doing a fans page as well. Takes <laughs> only fans. Yeah, only fans. You should see that one. That's amazing. <laughs> only fans with the raw, unedited reviews. <laughs> Weird fluffing has a new meaning. <laughs> yeah, droop has got a new meaning. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, windows as well. The window in here gets like really, really bad. You can't see out it. Yeah, but you got that stuff, didn't you, Vic? Where you could actually put it on your windscreen or something. Did yeah, on the work? windows it actually works. Rainex, Rainex kind of stuff. Yeah, there's but there's, there's a bottle. Well, you can't see it because there's a Christmas card in the way, but there's a bottle sitting right there. Why have you only got one Christmas card? No, I don't. I've got <laughs> okay. what one, <laughs> two, three, and there's four there. Sorry. <laughs> so that was Aiden, me, Gaz, and who was the last one? Uh, one was from <laughs> Steve. Well, one was one was from Stevie. There's a there's that. In fact, there's not. In fact, Stevie, Stevie, and Full Moon's ones up in the studio, and those are from one. Full from Moon, Vapor. yeah. He sent yeah. me ones all the way from the states. Yeah. 
a new form of wish. Wish is terrible. My mother in law is like addicted to wish, and she keeps buying stuff despite us telling her not to. She's done the whole kind of you know, when you buy suitcases and they come and they're like for Barbie dolls, she's done all these things and she still orders off a of wish. Wish is a bad thing. I bought one of them, you know, them bracelets you put around your thing with you, like a, a lighter thing that you did that, and then a little knife and all that. When am I going to fucking use that? I don't leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> obviously thinks I'm just a dirty bastard because everything it tries to sell me is either for putting in your ass or for like some kind of leather thing to wear. <laughs> Yeah, it comes up on ads and you're like, why would I want laundry? <laughs> 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 it's a lay-pack bloke, innit? That's what they want to sell you. So, yeah. last question. There's no giveaway, by the way, folks, because Geek Vape haven't oh, sent the sponsorship package out yet. Bye, guys. <laughs> See you later, people. There's Enjoy everyone leaving now because there's no giveaway. They haven't sent the sponsorship package out yet. I think they're sending it next week. So, well, no, not this week. I think they're sending it tomorrow, actually, Friday. So hopefully that arrives for next week. And hopefully they don't cram it with the same stuff they crammed the last sponsorship. I'm getting really picky when it comes to the sponsorship box. But hi, Geek Vape. Don't forget to send the sponsorship box. Last question. You'll end up with one of them. <laughs> yeah. Last question. Mark Howard. He's asking for this for a friend, by the way. How many vape setups is too many? None. There's never too many. There is never too many. No. Aiden, Aiden's, Aiden's thinking. There isn't too many setups you can really have, but you can only suck on one. (laughs) 42 is too much. True. You can only actually suck on one. Have we got no Ronnie this week? Oh, fuck. We never fucking... Sorry, Ronnie. I'd be disappointed if there was no Ronnie question. Okay, last question. You're about Aiden. (laughs) <laughs> that's four <laughs> so even the, chat's asking if there's a wrong question <laughs> the first bit we've kind of already answered that what delights did you casters get for Christmas I, I got a new oh. monitor stand oh uh, we did we answered it oh it has to be a few people's it. questions now what was that his actual question no there's a second bit uh, what delights did you casters get for Christmas? And did Pud get the vibrating goat's vagina he was hoping for? Uh, I just got a vibrating real goat. <laughs> but it was actually in a monkey costume. <laughs> I am still searching for that clip. No, no, it was just a, a vibrating Tom goat. Tom Vick's only fans. <laughs> honestly, Adam, he, what, he, he went on that embarrassing bodies and uh, he was dressed as a gorilla and they swabbed his arsehole. <laughs> that is a true story. That's a true story. Yep. It's a true story. Oh, I was dressed as a monkey in a bikini and he swore my asshole. Which was cleaner nice. than my friend's ball sack and my other friend's armpits. Oh, God. And that I sounded like a COVID test, though, innit? Uh, it, was, it was something like they tested for like how much bacteria was on your skin and had a really nice. Well, not being funny, but did, did they do it, you know, like the tweezers that we actually we, did they do it like with the tweezers or did they <laughs> do it by hand? It was like a little swab, that, well, it was like a swab on a stick, and they just I've always got a builder's arse anyway, it was the obvious way to put it, and they just kind of rub it up and down your ass crack a wee bit, <laughs> tickled. The troll, tr- obviously, sure it wasn't when just you, a when really you start getting a bit old, you start. <laughs> When you start getting older, like sort of my age, and you, you forget about that sort of thing, M- mine's a little bit like a spider's web. If you're like a dreadlock, <laughs> <laughs> if you're like trying to pick it through Bob Marley's head oh. from the back. Oh, Jesus. They, well, they love it. So, how the hell have they got a wipe through yours? I, well, obviously, you must have been a lot younger. Hooked on Funk G, I will get the plant back into the screen uh, just to prove that it is still alive. Barely. It's, well, it's the only person who killed a cactus. He killed a cactus. Killed a cactus. It fell apart. Oh, Plus look, it's dying. still alive. It's got brown wings. <laughs> it is getting a bit to one side, though. Like it's... Well, it's like your fucking shells. <laughs> well, that was a plan. I thought, if I get a plant that's kind of squint, it'll make the shells look straight. So what you really want is your room to go on a fucking slant, don't you, really? It's basically like Funhouse. <laughs> Nothing straight, everything's to the side. It's one of those fun houses when you go to this, this, the shows. 
And Pendiala, I'm not even going to attempt that first name, Pendiala, I actually answered that question in the What's Up last Sunday. The eSig 101 is coming back and it is going to cover the basics. Mm-hmm. Uh, that'll be restarting in February once I get through all the reviews that I'm doing this month because I took two weeks off because I'm a lazy capitalist bastard and That's I could pathogen. take two weeks off. What? Pam, I, I know I've, I've turned it around so that it grows towards the light the other way now. In fact, is pathogen something else? Pathogen. That's not pathogen. Around. That's fat. Pathania. That's not a hard one. Path, is it pathene- pathogen? Fan. It's fanthea. Fan. Fanthenea. 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 I love br- trying to pronounce different names. You know. It's so it's the J's are always wise, aren't they? Everybody except here. Nana, yeah, nana, fan, nana, nana, fan, fan, It sounds like a Cthulhu mod. No, it's not fan, fan, funny. No, not that. <laughs> <laughs> no! But the That's thing is, there's an I in there. Like you've got P H A N I, so you can't skip the I. Funny from that. That's not even close to funny. Yeah, but P H A N is fun. Then you yeah, get the eye after it. Does it, does, it, does it do that? <laughs> That's why do? I didn't want to attempt that first name. Thanks. Well, Thanks. I tried to do it lovely, yeah. and then all yeah. of a sudden you started saying funny. <laughs> funny, funny Thayer. I think, I think, uh, <laughs> I can't do it now. Fuck. <laughs> no, don't do it, honestly. No, Funny Thayer, I think you should let us know who is the closest, and I think it will be me. Hey. Funny Thayer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you've ruined it, man. You just ruined it. Gurgly, gurgly kiss, gurgly kiss, um, <laughs> gurgly kiss. What's one of them? <laughs> uh, obviously, you've just been married for quite a number of months, haven't you? It, 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 could you do a gurgly kiss? <laughs> uh, R- Ross, Adam was the closest. Have you sent Adam the last the giveaway closest. yet? I think yours is still here. Hold on. What's one thing you're Adam, not what's the closest? To? I'm Aiden, but Adam, what did you say? What? 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 How did you pronounce the name? Uh, do you know what? We've tried to pronounce it that many different ways that I have no idea. Uh, apparently, you said it the closest. I think you said Fanthea. Ah, yeah. it's Sergey with R. Uh, uh, so no basically, the, basically, the I is silent. Oops. Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful Gailey Bops is uh, putting out Adam's link. Please get yourself over there. Um, he's an absolute star. He's been a brother as another mother to me for years. And um, it's where I come from. He's, he's my family and I love him to bits. So please, please go over there. Give him a sub. He's an absolute wonderful bloke. Why don't you tell everyone what you're doing with your channel, Ed, Adam? Because it's a little bit different from what you were doing before. Just be- for the last video yeah. before we go. Sell yourself. Yes. I, well... Do you know what? I was part of the review scene many, many moons ago. And do you know what? It, it got boring for me. I'm not going to lie. And I, that's without sugarcoating it or anything like that. We, there's only so much you can do with a review. We all do it pretty similar in different standards of quality. I think that's how I've seen it for a bit. So I had a few life issues. And, and because the YouTube channel was sort of backseat to it all, I just left it and... And it just stagnated. I tried to return a couple of times, and it worked just right for me. But then, a couple of months ago, I decided, right, I'm, I'm going to bring it back, but it's got to be fun. It's got to be fun. And I wanted it to be fun, and I want it to be different. So what happened were I reacted to my first ever video. <laughs> um, because as Gaz, the wonderful flat cap who's dead to everyone, um, <laughs> discovered if you if, if you react to yourself no one else can come at you then <laughs> so i i did i finished season one on christmas eve with rip trippers of uh, rvtv reacts and what happened there is i had a great time absolute great time uh, reacting to different people and i start season two next week but i'm also doing retro reviews so stuff that i consider still relevant and and obviously there's there's a plethora, as Aiden loves the word, a plethora yes, of reviewers out there that will tell you about every single new product coming out. But there's still some things out there that are completely relevant and you can pick up for absolute pennies. And 
that's where the retro reviews come from. Also, this the podcast and and coming very shortly, and and obviously it's a, a vaping with Vic exclusive here, other than Aiden putting it out on his vlog, <laughs> is the return of a monthly, a monthly uh, last of the summer vapes because when we got when we got back to that, it was just we we. We had a right giggle, and and you know what? For, to bring it back as something special, once a month, not once a week or anything like that. Once a month is is just a, a great opportunity. So there's there's loads of stuff coming up. Also, um, I've I've got some other plans for the future, but I don't want to give them away. They they all come up in the community tab because I haven't really thought yet. But there's a lot of different things coming up as well as the reacts. The reacts have been brilliant. I've I, I did Vic. Vic Vic was great. I've done. Um, and and I need to do you pod, so you'll be coming up very shortly in season two. Well, that's oh. it. <laughs> so you heard that here did first. It. Adam did me, and I was great. <laughs> then he did Eden. It's because of your size, Vic. Because you're so small, I can just <laughs> I, grab you honestly, and put it where Vic, I want honestly, put it. I looked at you, and you were like, you, you were trying to pull it, back. but Vic giggled more than you. <laughs> I know. Vic like, giggled more, does it? <laughs> The best thing about it was, did he have the pipe? <laughs> <laughs> he, he did cradle. He did cradle. He went like that. <laughs> still in tickle. We've got GBV he Nation went. still in chart. That was, Matty asked me today, who have you got on tonight? I'm like, oh, it's Adam GBV. He's like, who? I'm like, Adam GBV. He's like, it's not been Adam GBV for a long time. <laughs> no. <laughs> no but it, the, the thing is, is obviously me and Adam have been, since I ever came into vaping, we... we it's lovely to have you back, mate, and long may it continue. Uh, speaking to you, obviously, privately when we've done it, you've, you have you seem to have that little bit of a buzz back. Yeah. And, it, it, and you can see it in I've done... reviews, you can see how you're doing it. and there's, there's a lot of work going into the studio area as well, which is the first time I've ever took pride in what it looks like behind me. Um, mm. I put that brick wall up for a bit, that great big... Yeah, I can remember ...different coloured brick wall for a bit. Whereas now I'm taking a bit of pride in it. My wife's helped millions. She bought me a new chair because she thought I looked really sad sat on my little fold-up chair. So she bought me a new chair for Christmas and things like that. And I, there's there's some new stuff coming and I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm like actually incredibly excited about this year for the channel. So Good. It's nice to see you, mate. And it's really nice to see you back. You know I'm sure of you. And it, You've still got that class. You've still got that style. You've still got the wheelie deely. I was trying to do like a Ric Flair thing, then it won't work. But, <laughs> you, <laughs> but you, honestly, you still got that thing, and you're absolute. You are a pro at being on a show as well. You've done it for so long, and I love you to bits, man. I still shit myself. Back. I still shit myself every single time. I said this before we went live. I went my bum holes going like that, like an absolute <laughs> rabbit's fucking nose. It were twitching. <laughs> yeah, I'll, just, I'll, I'll love you being back, bro. It's nice having you. Oh, I love it. I do. And, and, and genuinely, oh, like when I when Benny I returned, Benny <laughs> when when I returned last time, I, they, they, it wasn't genuine. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't genuine. Whereas this time, it's genuine excitement to get in front of the camera. It's genuine excitement like, because there's so many different ideas whirring around in my head. What I can do with the channel now, it, it just. Mm. The possibilities are endless. They are. And but here's... Write them down, though, because I, 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 always, I think a good idea is all the time. I never remember them. Write them down. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's the one thing I've started doing, writing stuff down, because I'm old and I forget things. I, I get like, oh, I was going to do this thing with that, I was going to do that, and then by the time you actually come around to it, you have no idea what the fuck I was planning. Ah, you see, that's what my community tab's for. Every yeah. time I get an idea, I go, so, community tab, what do you think? <laughs> 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 what do you do? It works. The bitches are wanting you on as well, so you're gonna have to psych yourself up for We will. Up. We will sort something out. I did say. I did say before Christmas when we did the last of the summer vapes that I'll. I'll happily jump on at some point. So mm -hmm. you'll enjoy that. That'll be a fun show. Rick Flair is still going. Yeah. Yeah, but... Nature Boy. Rick. Well, he doesn't wrestle anymore. He, he. He plays part. He plays parts of the business. My wife's stuff. in chat, by the way, everyone. Jackie Hutton. That's my wife. Hi, oh, hi, Jackie. Jackie Hutton. Nice to see you, lovey. Still fucking waving over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pod, keep them going, because I don't know whether to do an older review or or one of these shows where you just go in. <laughs> 
Oh, mate, seen... you know, like one of our biggest things on it. If you need to, if a lot of people don't know, last of the summer vapes, you need to go back and watch it. Um, uh, Adam always had a fez on. It wasn't actually a fez. It was just that he had a, a lamp that used the light to shade behind me. <laughs> And he used to open the window and the people over the road knew that he was live. So they'd start onking their own and shouting. And yeah, yeah, you'd hear everything. <laughs> it was brilliant. It was just absolutely brilliant. The summer months were brilliant. Well, you could hear sirens going off, cars driving oh. up and down road, people talking in the street. You'd be like, ah, oh my God. Thanks. They just know I'm recording. So... <laughs> You, you, you'll say about this, Vic, as well. You know, it's sort of like the time when we were around, there was a lot to talk about in the vaping community because oh, no, obviously boys. the TPD yeah. was still coming out. Um, we were getting 30 mil bottles. We could get whatever mil bottles with nicotine already in it, steeped, and it tasted better than it does now. You're getting all these yeah. 50 mil short fills. It doesn't taste the same by putting that nicotine in there. It doesn't. These people were steeping it for months on them shelves, and it tasted a lot better. Well, here's the thing. Because we are now out of the European Union, some it's probably going to be sometime after the summer recess of Parliament, so you're going to be looking at sometime during September as we get into autumn. The Science and Technology Commission are going to rewrite the TRPR. They're going to, they, they've said this, they're going to strip out e-cigs from the current tobacco regulation product, re, tobacco product regulation, whatever the fuck it's called, and there's going to be now a separate category for e-cigs. So we're going to go through all this all over again, Aidan. Yay! Yeah. Oh, oh, so I just want to say, we spent so many shows doing it, bro. Sorry, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's come over and subscribed to the channel. I'm just getting notifications now. And thank you, everyone, by the way. Oh, oh. But yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be fun to watch what happens. And hopefully, a lot of people say about 10 mil bottles, hopefully we can go back to nicotine in them. But the, one of the biggest things would be 2 mil tanks. Oh, they've um, got to get rid of the 2 mil tanks. Oh, That's annoying the they, fuck they, out they, of me. Yeah. See that cloud flask? I haven't taken the little bung out of it yet, and it's a pain in the arse. I'm filling it every five minutes. Yep. Have you not took it out yet? Uh, it's simple enough. It's not hard to do. I just... Oh, fuck off! <laughs> See, <don't> them... <laughs> it's like, there we go. <laughs> so, no, I just haven't been asked to take it out yet. I will take it out. Look, look you can see it. Look. Ah, look. <laughs> I'm going to say... You know is he that not the... focusing? <laughs> Why is he not focusing? Why is it not in the camera? <laughs> But yeah, it looks pretty good. Obviously, Denmark's just got... Um, it's the first European country to ban flavours as well, hasn't it, Denmark? Yeah. I think they're winding that back, though, from what I've been hearing. They're getting a bit of blowback for it. bit of blowback? I don't black market it still. Okay, I said that wrong, didn't I? He <laughs> did, yeah, a bit of blowback. Funny, I'm surprised. I thought you, you should have had, had another hour on that fucking kit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, anyone else that has sent out packages to in the mainland have all had theirs, so you should be any day. I think, Samantha, you should have had yours as well by now. Scuba, oh lord, it's a year later and Vic looks older. R right Still there, Scuba. Hasn't fixed right, 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 right. I'm getting more grey hairs in the beard, though. I've not seen that. Oh, you're, you're, you've been dying your hair, though. You're dying your hair. I fucking don't. You are dying your hair. If I'm sat down here two years younger than you, I year, am not you're... dying my hair. I am not dying my hair. Look, you can see it. Look, right look. see that? See, to, there's to no be sign fair, when you watch his reviews now, because it's so crisp and clear, you can see every single grey hair. Yeah, did anybody see his, 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 I don't know what re hair. review it was, but he had like one little he white hair just stuck out to one side. I'm actually thinking and shaving the beard off so there's no grey. That's what I'm thinking and doing. Yeah, I Don't, because fine. we all know, Vic, you look like a potato. I do. <laughs> I actually do. Potato yeah, we know this. <laughs> but it's fucking annoying. You me, got a friend in me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, people. Send it in. Uh, you can get it down to Vic's office. Ears, eyes and nose. <laughs> you just wear them in each review. <laughs> So, should we wrap this up? I don't, I don't. I'm putting my angry face on. <laughs> Before we go, we'll announce the new host. I'm only joking, there's none. There, there's no new host, folks. <laughs> Before we get people asking, we haven't actually decided. Well, we've, the, the, there's a short list. Put it that way. There's a short yeah, list. It's fucking very short. It's fucking very <laughs> short, but there is a short list of who the new host will be. Hopefully the new host will be in place next week. 
But... No, we're having Jay Hayes on, aren't we? Oh, we're having Jay Hayes on if Jay wants to pop on, yeah. But hopefully the new host will be will, will be in place next week. Before we go round for everyone's goodbye, um, the two guys here have already seen it. And a few other people have seen it. But I'm going to show off something that should be getting released sometime in March. Your I shouldn't, I shouldn't have fucking said a month now because then it'll be fucking <laughs> late. Like EH fucking pro who dragged thing. Sometime, uh, sometime during summer, during during summer of this year, I'm going to show you just a little bit of this, just as a a little bit of a teaser. Let's get that and drag that over there, and drag that. Oh, it's the wrong fucking thing. I'm dragging down. Drag. Well, being funny, pod. I th I didn't think you had a fans only page. <laughs> <laughs> Drag that. The there. bottom feeder. There we go. <laughs> so we'll leave we'll leave that picture there for now, so people can look at it. Yes. Yes. Oh, we can't. They can't see much though. That's, oh. that's how we cook these. Fucking right. I'm not showing off the entire <laughs> fucking tank. It just uh, in chat there, Samantha uh, has said that Grant's not in chat tonight because his mum's passed away. So, uh, Grant, just a really sorry to hear that, buddy. And mm. thoughts are with you guys. Yeah, so sorry, buddy. Sending love to you all out there. Yeah, thoughts horrible are with you. Horrible Big thing love. at this time of year, especially, isn't it? Nice, yeah. God. Uh, Bob Cumming, that is definitely one of those flesh torches, that is right. No, it isn't. <laughs> what you're looking at is the top half of what would have been the Kelpie Duel. However, with EH Pro now going bankrupt, I am now working with another company. And what you're looking at is the top half of a tank that is currently being put through prototype. Aidan, are you biting your finger because you're trying not to laugh at something? <laughs> no, no, <all> right. <laughs> yeah, I don't think like that, mate. I, I'm down here, that's fine. You just had that look about you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> are, are you going to tell us the name, Vic? <laughs> Mate, I was fine. I just, I just thought I'd just do that. <laughs> <sighs> He's hiding his face now. <laughs> but yeah, that tank's not going to be coming out until well into the end of spring, beginning of summer. It will be a dual coil tank, and that's all I'm saying about that. Hide the image. That was episode mimi because i've forgotten the number of the episode we'll go round the host now it's still fucking christmas at the beginning <laughs> 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 who are we gonna pick on first we will pick on but well, we're not picking aiden keys you're not ready mr pud over to you yeah i've got some composure and i know who i've remembered where the karma is that's because you're on fucking coffee <laughs> and you're on <laughs> top. I, just, I just had a little bit of coffee <laughs> Uh, yeah, so thank you very much, Adam, for coming on tonight. You've been a great guest. Uh, we'll definitely need to get Welcome. you on again. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you're going to bring out next. It's nice to see something a little bit different uh, from the usual reviews and things like that. So it's nice to see everybody in chat. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. To everyone who's taken part and to all you spanners for swatting away all the vermin. Thank you very, very much. To... I nearly said Garzia. Yeah. Oh! He's dead. I mean, oh, harsh. fuck, fuck, guys, he's dead. Uh, to Aiden and Vic, thank you very much for joining us this week. It's been lovely, and we'll see you guys next week. And Stay in the house, wash your hands, and stop coughing everywhere. Wait yeah, and that was Mr. Padpuffs. Over to Mr. Little Bro Apes. Aiden. Big love to everybody. Thank you very much to the Spanners for looking after us. You're an absolute bunch of stars. Thank you very much for everybody who's joined us in chat. You make this show. You make it. Honestly, it's been a good old giggle. Adam, it's like old times every time I'm with you. I love you so much, you know that. Please make sure you get over to Retro TV. Um, make sure you subscribe. This lad is one of the top lads. He's one of the old school. And um, I think the world of him. I really do. He's like a brother to another mother. Thank you so much, Pud. I love you. You make me giggle every single time I'm with you. Vic, <laughs> you're a star. Look after yourselves. And we'll see you next week for another set of giggles. Yeah, and that was Aidan. Over to our guest, Mr. Adam from Retro Vape TV. Big, big thank you to everyone in chat.
I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Vic for sending me the message asking me to come on. Absolutely loved it, even though I was absolutely bricking it first. <laughs> bummel, once again, bummel like that. But obviously, Aiden, much, much love. You, you, you literally are my third wheel, and I love it. And uh, Pod, like I said, be careful because these two have already had their uh, reactions. So you are coming up very, very shortly. Uh, am I actually? <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. I love him. I absolutely love him. Do you know what? what? And <clears throat> I say this every single time. They are meant as a sign of respect to see how far people have come. And I'm not bothered about how far they've come. I'm bothered about their first ever video. And it's always fun. Uh, but big, big thanks. And, and thank you for making me feel so, so welcome. Everyone in chat, you are all awesome. Everyone who's jumped over the, to the channel, I want to say a massive, massive thank you. And, and that's it. And that was Mr. Adam, Mr. Retro Vape TV. Don't forget, go and subscribe to him. I'm going to pop the link in chat, hopefully. Ah, oh, fuck. Hold on. I've lost the link. Hold on. Somebody pop the link in chat because I've lost the link. <laughs> what? <laughs> Aiden's sitting there going, I can't believe I cast with this idiot every fucking week. Seriously. <laughs> what? Not at all. Anyway, that is it for episode 279 of the UK Vape Show. Uh, we will see you all next week. But before I do go, a massive thanks to, of course, the span... What the fuck is Pud Puffs looking at? <laughs> well, that bit of paper I picked up earlier, I wondered what was actually on it, because... <laughs> Eva's been drawing, but she's been writing. I can't get it fucking... <laughs> You show it wrong camera, Pod. You show it wrong camera. No, I'm not. There's <laughs> obviously just been at my desk drawing. She's drawn a wormhole. She's she into space theory. As well. Either that, it's my fucking ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's it for episode 279. A massive thanks to all the spanners out there for keeping Orange the chat. Putting it. <laughs> a massive thanks to all the spanners for keeping the chat in order. Big thanks, of course, to Mr. Pud Puffs and Mr. Aiden Little Bro Vapes. And a special thanks to Mr. Adam. It's good to see you back again. Thank you. And it is actually good to see you back again. Uh, you're doing you're doing something different. Which is what's needed. That is what's needed, especially now with old dinosaurs like me that are used to things happening well. You know, I mean, Gaz, who's now dead to us, of course, he, he pushed the boundaries of how to do reviews and he shook things up a bit. But what you're doing, Adam, yeah. is something completely different. And it's a breath of fresh air. VHS. That is something completely different. Anyway, that's it from us, folks. We will see you all next week for episode 280, hopefully with Mr. J. Hayes, but we're not quite sure yet. Bye! Bye-bye! Bye! See, I, I didn't realise you could see...